Hi there. Many others like you have asked, who was responsible for Christ's death? Let's find out, shall we? You can discover this answer and even more on gotquestions.org. The answer to this question has many facets. First, there is no doubt the religious leaders of Israel were responsible for Jesus' death. Matthew tells us that the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. The Jewish leaders demanded of the Romans that Jesus be put to death. His works threatened their dominating religious position in society, so they plotted to take his life. The Romans were the ones who actually crucified him. Crucifixion was a Roman method of execution, authorized and carried out by the Romans under the authority of Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. Roman soldiers drove the nails into his feet and hands. Roman troops erected the cross, and a Roman soldier pierced his side. The people of Israel were also complicit in the death of Jesus. They were the ones who shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! as he stood on trial before Pilate. They also cried for the thief Barabbas to be released instead of Jesus. Peter confirmed this when he told the men of Israel, You, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. In fact, the murder of Jesus was a conspiracy involving Rome, Herod, Jewish leaders, and the people of Israel, a diverse group of people who never worked together on anything before or since, but who came together this one time to plot and carry out the unthinkable, the murder of the Son of God. While God did not literally kill Jesus, God allowed him to be put to death. This man was handed over to you by God's deliberate plan and foreknowledge, and you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. While God did not stop people from physically killing Jesus, he also did not allow death to have the final say. But God raised him up from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. Christ's death and resurrection was part of God's perfect plan. God made him, who had no sin, to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross provides salvation for all who trust in him. And in conclusion, All who have come to Christ in faith are guilty of his blood shed on the cross for us. He died to pay the penalty for our sins. In the movie, The Passion of the Christ, the director Mel Gibson was the one whose hands you see actually driving the nails through Christ's hands. He did it that way to remind himself and everyone else that it was our sins that nailed Jesus to the cross. All right, that answers your question. Who was responsible for Christ's death? On our website, getquestions.org, you'll find an in-depth article with citations and resource suggestions. If this helped you as much as it did others, like this video and subscribe to the Got Questions channel. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, as always, just keep asking.